they called it Theatre Arc to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the International Theatre Festival, the Baltic House. Those people who created the festival many years ago and who made it possible to survive through all 20 years, they gathered in one bus. We may see its founders, Sergei Shub, who is the director of the festival for many years, Vyacheslav Vaskov, stage director, who invented the idea 20 years ago. Alexander Siliznyov, who, together with another banking, Andrei Lavyagin, protected and supported the festival through 20 years. Those people were, as it's supposed to be in the arc, of very different professions and actually of very different thought. Theatre directors, theatre managers, critics and journalists, those people who made publicity, analysis and reflection of the festival. First arrival point is Helsinki, with lots of things to remember. Various performances came to almost every festival. It was Kum Theatri, then Kaupungin Theatri, Ku Theatri. Lots of very different trends in directing. Finnish theatre appears to be really very innovative and experimental and very deep. It's really a big, not really well known in the world, but really very important part of the European theatre. The route of the festival goes through the cities that were very important for the festival for all 20 years. We go from St. Petersburg to Finland, to Helsinki, then to Stockholm in Sweden, then to Riga in Latvia, then to Tallinn in Estonia, and then back to St. Petersburg. After a rainy and windy Helsinki, Stockholm made travelers with sun and warmth. Everybody kept walking around. A very important point of walk was Museum of August Strindberg, the playwright without whom Swedish theater would be impossible. The central square of Stockholm, where Culture Palace is located, with lots of theatre venues, with Stats Theatre, City Theatre, and with Junga Clara experimental stage of this Stats Theatre. This is the very important place of which lots of performances, special character, travel to St. Petersburg for many editions of the Baltic House Festival. But this evening the target of theatre viewing was Royal Theatre. Dramaten, theater that went together with Russian theater, the whole way of history of theater of directing, theater of experiments through the whole 20th century. For us, this theater is very important not only because main plays by August Schoenberg and other playwrights of new drama, turning point of the European theater history, were staged, but also because Ingmar Bergman famous film director. He made his theater drama productions on this stage through years and years, and some of his performances, as well as performances of his daughter and his collaborators and other European directors, they were the part of the Baltic House Theater. But this evening we have chosen to visit and see the opening night of the trendy play in contemporary world theatre. It's the play by Tracy Letts, August Osage County. Actually, very specific 
play for Swedish theater because this is a kind of psychological thriller. It's a play which action actually takes place in subconsciousness of the characters. It needs a really very complicated acting approach which is based of post Strindberg and post Bergman school in a way. So the actors Jan Malmscher and Marie Joranzon, whom we admire very much, they were really the sample of that very specific Swedish acting of today. After the performance, we gathered in Theatre Museum in Stockholm in order to discuss the history of the last 20 years in theatre. Those 20 years, we, I mean the guests from the International Association of Theatre Critics and critics from Sweden to exchange the ideas about what is happening in theatre today and what was happening in the theater during the last 20 years. This is the period that was reflected by the Baltic House Festival. We did not intend to make the history of the European theater. We tried to analyze some problems that changed, that became evident during this part of theater history. The discussion was led by me, Nikolai Pisachinsky from St. Petersburg, and Anne-Marie Engel, and also Russian contributors that tried to focus on very different aspects of the development of the contemporary theater. Olga Galakhova, critic from Moscow, explained how we approach the political problems on stage. And our Swedish colleague, she spoke with big devotion and passion about a theater that is losing its energy of social action. How we squeeze the lemon from the theater and uh, how actually it becomes empty in a way and uh, very popular, uh, not in the best sense of it. Sergei Shup, managing director of the Baltic House and president of the Baltic House Festival for all those years, uh, he explained the concept of the festival. And this is the concept that is not the festival that brings production that are spectator friendly, but the performances that can bring the audience up to the new level of theater, to that situation in theater that will be uh, actually spreading maybe in several years. Uh, Marina Timasheva and other colleagues really tried to develop uh, those social aspects of theater and television. And another topic that came on stage was whether it's possible to make the television versions of the performance. Galina Lubimova, our director from St. Petersburg, uh, she spoke about her experience of artistic recreation of performances from stage to the television. So we continued about documentation of the theater and we spoke about uh, books and journals and different types of representing theater. Rodolfo Obregón from the International Association of Theater Critic spoke about the new magazine that is issued by the association. It's called Critical Stages, it's online and it's international. Margarita Sorensen spoke about the theater for children, which has very special experience in Sweden, and by the way, in Russia as well. 
Finn Paulson, the Swedish director, had an experience of staging in Baltic House, in the theater in St. Petersburg, of the famous Swedish play Medea Children, uh, which is a very special example of bringing pro problems of grown-ups for children, problem of uh, broken families. The discussion came back and back again to the problems of political, of social theater, and uh, Vyacheslav Gvostkov spoke about his experience of making political theater. Actually, the discussion was very enthusiastic, and it happened that the critics want to talk even more than it's possible. I have participated in Baltic House Festival for third times, maybe. It has been very unique in terms of, you know, uh, International Theatre Festival, which is usually a collection of many good theatre performances. So it could be a, a kind of market for all theatre. But Baltic House Festival is a kind of international, but still regional festival. So, you know, surrounded by, you know, uh, at, at, attended by almost similar or same culture. But still, there is a, a very individual difference in the diversity of the regional concept, and which was very unique, um, which is very interesting in terms of... I am always in, uh, interested in the, in the locality of theatre, you know, and this is where I can find the locality in Baltic House. That is very fantastic. And also, Nowadays, this Baltic, you know, areas, this Baltic theater has become one of the role models of the world theater, fest world theater. And here I discovered, you know, many, many important directors from Russia, from Lithuania, from Latvia, from Estonia. And that was very, my first experience to be exposed to, to these people and these people became the most, one of the most in, uh, important international, you know, theater artists. And this is the beginning of, in my case, the Baltic House Festival was the very beginning place that I discovered these people. It was just for great. Which, for me, and I don't know whether, whether I'm correct, but I, as a man from a different culture, from Asia, this Baltic House uh, uh, theatre productions were kind of combination of Russian, uh, the Russian methodology to theatre, plus Bretian, you know, the, 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 the theatre of epic, plus the local, uh, individually, you know, local, you know, uh, theatre aesthetics. So it's a combination of three different trends together. One Russian, because of the most of the Baltic you know, theater artists were trained in Russia. So there should be, there must be some Russian inf influence there in every country's you know, theater pra practice. This Russian, and some kind of you know, German effect initiated by Beryl Bertolt Brett. This is another you know, particular uh, characteristic of the Baltic Theater Festival, and also the local, the local uh, sp uh, specifics from each country. So these three combined, this Baltic House has been a you know, uh, kind of workshop for uh, very unique you know, theatrical uh, aesthetics. Yeah.